Hey YouTube, I'm Demetrius, I'm an interior designer, and I'm also a content creator. Join me in this exclusive lesson to learn how to design your space from start to finish, from mood boarding down to the execution and bringing in all of your furniture and accessories. Now that I've selected all of my furniture, we're gonna get into creating a realistic mood board. And I say a realistic mood board because I want you to be very intentional about only adding the pieces that you intend to add into your space that are within your budget because we can sometimes create mood boards based upon fantasy and realize that the pieces we've added are actually quite unattainable for us. When it comes to developing a mood board, I love to use Canva and that's just my personal preference. Don't feel as though you have to use that, but it's the easiest platform for me to use for this specific task. In order for you to set your mood board up for success, I will want you to gather all of the images. The images that you select should be images with minimal background, but don't worry if there are a few unsightly things within the image, we can definitely delete the background in the Canva app. But the first thing that I love to do when I'm building a mood board is drop my main pieces of furniture into the mood board. Of course, I'll start with the sofa, accent chairs, and area rug and build the space from there. You'll just simply start by selecting each item that you want to drop into Canva. And once that element is there, go ahead and hit edit image and actually hit background remover. Now we have a background that is transparent on our specific image. And so we can kind of create a whole collage that is sort of 3D, but built here in the app. As you add the rest of the elements to the space, be sure to remove the background as well because we want to remove as much background as possible so that we can actually put items on top of items and give you a much clearer visual of what to expect from these items. Another thing that I love is the ability to flip the orientation of an image. And in my case, I have one image of the side chair. And so what I'm gonna do is flip the orientation of the side chair so that the side chairs face one another. Initially, I had a full scale photo of the area rug. And so what I did was cut the area rug image in half and simply place that image underneath the sofa and the side chairs. And so right now my area rug is on top of the sofa and the chairs. So we're gonna actually send that image to the back so that the sofa and the chairs are resting on top of the area rug. And that would actually give you that clear visual of what to expect when it's in your space. Let's go ahead and add our coffee table and our artwork. So now we're gonna add in our lighting to this mood board. And what I love to do is sometimes place it in the exact spot it will live in the room. But in this instance, I won't place it centered here because it's black just as well as the artwork and you kind of lose the sight of it. And so I'll place it off to either side, reduce the scale because again, we're just getting a sense of how everything feels here. Now that our artwork is placed on the mood board, let's go ahead and add side tables and pillows on the sofa. Right, and so let's see, we have all of our furniture and everything here. And so I will also add our couple pieces of artwork here as well. As you can see now, the artwork is starting to feel good. It doesn't necessarily match with everything that's going on in the space. But again, artwork has to speak directly to you. It doesn't really have to match. As you can see here, I'm going to further reduce the size of my artwork because I would love to squeeze the image of my window treatment here as well. 
mine were custom, so I don't necessarily have an image of it already ready to go. So I do have an image of the drapery that inspired the overall look. And as you see here, we don't have much room for that image. And so what we're gonna do is delete this image and make room on our mood board. We're gonna pretty much resize all of the objects. Instead of resizing each element individually, we're gonna go ahead and group all of the objects. In order to get all of these elements in a group, we're going to simply click and hold on this and select multiple and pretty much select every element that you would love to be locked in here together so that everything isn't shifting around once you bring in your artwork as it is now. Now you can simply reduce that entire group of images at one time, but I did miss one. And so we're going to simply go ahead and adjust that moving on over, no worries at all. And so now let's go ahead and drop our image of that window treatment and just place it off to the side. And that is essentially how you build a mood board and the way that I love to make them. But feel free to go as in depth as you wish with this, add multiple pages, add your accessories, add your plants and all of the other things that is gonna help you envision what your space is gonna look like before you even start to buy things because again interior design is definitely a process that takes time and so we want to make sure that we're saving ourselves time and not having to reorder elements by adding everything into this mood board. Now that your mood board is successfully completed and you've downloaded the PDF from the Canva app feel free to drop that PDF in the project gallery because I would love to see how you've implemented all of my mood board tips and tricks it's time to go ahead and order all of your furniture. I already done so, I have everything already. So let's go ahead and get all of our furniture and accessories in its rightful place so that you can see how I've brought my mood board to life. Let's head back to my living room. Thanks so much for joining me in this lesson. Join me in the full class to learn how to design a space step by step. And while you're here, why not subscribe to Skillshare's YouTube channel for more tutorials like this? Click on the link below and I can't wait to see you there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.